Uh, Assalamu alaikum and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and KSA uh, time zone. Uh, I'm sure you are in different time zones, so good afternoon for you from any time zone you are in. Uh, first of all, um, I will present our technical paper under name DOS, uh, DDOS Detection and Software Defined Network SDN using machine learning. I'm Hayal Abedan. I'm working as a computer. Uh, I'm working as a cloud engineer in computer uh, organization, an IT organization. And this work has been done as a part of my master's degree in computer science uh, with a major of cloud computing and big data. Uh, this work has been done by me and my co-authors, Reem Al-Zahir, Reem al Maryam al -Gahtani, and for sure with support and help from our doctor, Dr. Rami Muhammad. Uh, we study our, we're doing our master's degree within Imam Abdurrahman bin Faisal University uh, from Saudi Arabia. And I hope you enjoy my presentation for today. As an introduction, uh, the age of internet technology, the amount of data and information available in the internet increased recently, and the files also increase in the public and private computer. Therefore, a large segment of society need to have this information in the system that allow to be accessed and viewed at any time. So here it's a sign that we have to utilize the cloud computing, and cloud computing for sure have been a popular topic for many years. It's one of the most interesting and faster growing area in the field of uh, computer science. Okay, so just I before I go deep within our research, let me just explain for you some famous uh, term. I sure I'm sure uh, many people of you know about it. So the cloud computing. Then let me shed some light on the SDN. SDN also play a major role in cloud computing in that allow the user to address different change quickly as they come. One of the more, uh, the major advantage is that the streamline the network configuration, procedure, and both network monitoring and performance. Uh, SDN is standard for uh, Software Defined Network, which is a network architect uh, approach it's enable the control and manage of the network using software applications. Uh, as you can see uh, here in this uh, figures, it show you the the SDN uh, uh, architectures and uh, technically speaking, SDN is made possible to separate the control plan and the, from the data plan. The plan and networking term that refer to an abstract uh, concept, which is where network process take place. The control plan refer to a networking process that uh, direct network traffic, while the data plane is the actual data transferring the network. The control plane also does this by establishing uh, network routing and communication, which is a uh, protocol should be used. Okay, in the network uh, setup that only use uh, physical hardware, each individual router or switch has to be configured on its own. The control plan is closely uh, interwired while the data plan and with the underlying network hardware. I mean, um, the configuration within the SDN control within the cloud itself it's different than when you use it with the hardware itself. And in the cloud, as I mentioned, you separate the control plan, the data plan, and the hardware. However, in the physical uh, hardware, you cannot dis uh, divide these three uh, layers. And why I uh, told you like this, or how, why I introduced my presentation in this way, just I need to shed some light on the concept of cloud computing and SDN. And the problem statement for our research, while uh, the people use more cloud computing and SDN technology, here that the alert shows the security become more pressing issues. Security costs a lot of money for sure uh, and take a lot of resource. 
uh, in the cloud itself. It's difficult a problem. We cannot go and ignore it and go behind that. Uh, as that's told by a cloud provider, we cannot skipping the security from the cloud computing model roadmap that will impact us in the future. So, uh, this show you uh, this slide show you the attack itself, the DDoS attack. How we get uh, we uh, being hacked uh, using this uh, uh, from this uh, attack. Uh, and uh, it is security to threading by attacker nowadays. Distributed denial of service, DDoS, is one of the most dangerous attacks aimed to be reaching the network availability. As the expert in the uh, security field mentioned, a distributed denial of service attack is a DD, uh, DOS attack. So there is a, no difference between DDoS attack and DOS attack, denial of service or distributed denial of service. The difference, just one thing, it's come from multiple, it's come from multiple uh, hosts, try to affect the victims. Uh, as an coordinated function to one or more uh, target. The definition itself, the the DDoS attack from other type of attacks, uh, it is as I mentioned, it is basically DOS attack. In other words, it is subnet of DOS attack. Second, the attack come from multiple source. Third, the attack host must be coordinated among themselves, which is established feature of DDoS attack. DDoS attack can target both, if you imagine, the cloud and SDN by affecting specific component of this architect. SDN is a component of application, as I mentioned, control and information levels. Based on that, the DDoS attack and SDN is categorized into three categories and different of them targeting a specific level of the uh, SDN. On the other hand, DDoS attack in the cloud has been significant impact on realizing the basic categorization of the cloud, such as resource pool, wide network access, and non-demand self-service because it's aimed to present the availability of the cloud. I hope uh, this uh, this introduction just give you a brief and what we the uh, dangerous or the, the um, effects we will get from the attack itself if we if the attack target our cloud computing environment specifically SDN, so with the with the, uh, nowadays using of machine learning, how about the machine learning? Can we can machine learning solve these issues? In this paper, we try to provide a technique building using machine learning to dedicate the DDoS attack in SDN environment. The model is a trained and test using SDD, uh, SDN dataset, which is, has been used previously for research purpose. For sure, before to start any research or any um, studies, case studies, you have go and dig deeper with the previous studies. Me and my team try to go through many uh, previous work However, we try to focus on 14 uh, signature paper. Uh, in our uh, opinion, it will add value to our work. We try to divide them, as you can see in this table, uh, uh, the paper name used uh, machine learning algorithm, and what is the best algorithm with the high accuracy showing in this studies. And, uh, uh, some, some, uh, as you can see in this table, some uh, authors didn't mention the result itself. However, it's matter for us to check which the algorithm they use. Based on that, we try to build our experiment. But for sure, you cannot go and uh, use machine learning algorithm without data set. And it is difficult, as I mentioned before, to collect data, especially any data related to attack and security. This is, uh, and we are lucky, we can find one of the data set uh, for SDN specific, 
created with uh, with the tool within uh, SDN environment and utilize machine learning and deep learning uh, algorithm to clarify the traffic. The data set we found contain uh, more than 1 million role from Mendeley data. The data set used in this research contain uh, 23 attributes, where one of these attributes is called label. And uh, the label is our target in this studies because we try to differentiate the result for the label uh, attribute. One, it is uh, mean uh, measureless uh, traffic, and zero, it is normal traffic. So how about our experiment? How we built this experiment? We start, uh, we go through uh, this workflow. As you can see, we start from uh, start, uh, prepare the environment, and I will mention it in uh, inshallah in the next slide. Then we will go through pre-process the data, apply feature selection, build the model, and test the model. First of all, uh, start, how we start our experiment. Uh, this experiment is carried out using Jupyter Network, which is original web application for creating and share uh, computational uh, document. The network is built using Python language, which is over the Cerulean library and package for machine learning. And the uh, second step, we go with reprocessing the data, for sure. Any data, um, yeah, and you can use the uh, pure data you have it as a, a data set for sure if you try to build a machine learning model you have to do some pre-processing so uh, the data pre-processing technique here we implement in this data set it is a try to define it into a variable with an in, uh, input a variable and dependent a variable also we try to uh, remove any null value or uh, noise value from the data set itself. Then we will go with a different technique, which is apply feature selection. And uh, feature selection in the machine learning uh, words mean that you have applied input to reduce the number of use a feature, reducing the model complexity, and that can help you to reducing the model complexity, achieving the high performance. Mere for the data set, uh, we use it here in this work, try to uh, divide it between two parts. First part uh, for um, uh, 80 percentage for the training, and the second part for 20 percentage for testing. Then we try to build our model. So when we built our model based on the lecture review we did, we try to select the best machine learning algorithm uh, to test our model. So we go with uh, regression, uh, um, logicals, uh, LLR and SVM, KNN, RV and LSTM. This for uh, this uh, five uh, algorithms. And we test this algorithm based on the uh, performance matrix. Uh, I will mention the performance matrix in the results uh, stage. As you can see here, um, to make it summarized, uh, this the, the table show you the results from uh, our work, the results show uh, each performance matrix obtained from each uh, algorithms. Um, here the algorithm names, and here it show you the, the performance matrix. And uh, um, the proposed model of the uh, detection uh, DDoS attack with only uh, 11 features. The round forest classifier has successfully achieved the highest results in the all measurements uh, and the LR has been uh, poor performance comparing to other uh, measurements. So as you can see, uh, here it's achieved the, the highest one comparing with accuracy and this algorithm uh, reached the poor one comparing to accuracy between different algorithms. 
And um, what we can do different just to test our model, it's yes, it can um, achieve some good result, uh, results. We try to compare our proposed model accuracy with the previous work uh, and our uh, uh, the results show the considerable impact of applying the feature selection of the model performance. In our proposed work, the LR uh, does not prove uh, after applying the feature selection. That's due to the natural of the algorithm itself, and it is not affected by the number of feature. On another hand, uh, we notice the improvement within uh, uh, SVM. Uh, it's achieved the uh, yani increase with uh, 11 percentage. Also, the key, uh, KNN and, R, uh, and RF has significantly improved with a similar number of the feature. In conclusion with this table that shows our model uh, was successfully applied to dedicated the DDoS attack within half of the features. Let me just, uh, before I conclude, let me give you a summarize. Uh, DDoS attacks has been a scenario and complex problem to the cloud computing. Therefore, we must not underestimate the threat that DDoS uh, um, uh, impacting and the time uh, go by DDoS attack will be only continue to, to uh, evaluate for this result. We need to pay attention to prevent this attack and build Certain mechanism uh, using machine learning, we will uh, we will be able to detect DDoS attack. Uh, and in this paper, we have utilized various uh, very uh, very uh, different algorithm, which is LR, uh, LR, SVM, KNN, uh, RV, and SLT, uh, LSTM. Also, we have shown the impact of the feature selection. And that improved the accuracy, uh, and we achieve as accuracy ninety nine percentage. And by using machine learning algorithm, we have to keep in our mind we can detect DDoS enough to facilitate the reactive prevalence of proper support. Uh, I'm reaching the end of my presentation, uh, and this is the. Yeah, I'm, I'm working. I'm working for any uh, questions from your side. Thank you so much.